Here is my first ever palette. I've actually taken three boxes off of it and they are inside, but there were 10 boxes total and I'll take you inside and show you what's in the first few boxes. We'll probably have to do uh, a series of unboxings because otherwise it'd be like a four hour video. But let's go inside and look at a few more boxes before I bring these in. These are not my shoes, clearly. These are my husband's. So here are three of the boxes that I brought in. I've got stuff ready to film here. But as you can see, I did already open two because I was so excited, but I have no idea what's inside this one. So let's go through these together and I'll share with you everything that I got. I'm so excited. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller, but this is my first time ever purchasing a palette and I'm so excited to share with you everything that I got in here. Most of the time when resellers are purchasing palettes of clothing, they're coming from wholesalers who have purchased items from maybe like Nordstrom Rack, items that didn't sell or you know things like that. Um, I actually got this from a reselling friend of mine. She's someone that took my YouTube course and she has her own YouTube channel all about reselling as well that you should definitely check out. Her channel is Michigan Inspired Reseller and she reached out to me because she had recently purchased a palette of clothes but she needed to move out a lot of stuff. Um, there's some stuff going on in her personal life, all like really good things, but she did not need all of his clothes sitting in her garage. And in case you didn't know, I have been buying out some people's inventory lately and finding really great success, even though a lot of what I've been, you know, buying off of other resellers has been bread and butter brands. But she asked if I would be willing to buy some stuff from her. So I think I took about half of her product off of her hands. I did pay for the product and to have it shipped to me. Um, it was like the first time I ever got anything shipped to me before on like a big truck with like the little, you know, what is it called? The thing with the wheel, the, I, you know, but, um, it's my first time getting a palette. It's still sitting in my garage right now. And so what I figured I'd do is unbox as many as I can for you per video. I wanna make sure each video is no longer than like an hour. So I've got three boxes here. We'll see how they do. And we're just gonna dig in and I'll show you what I have. If you enjoy unboxings like this or just seeing what kinds of things resellers are selling online, then definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you find that you're enjoying yourself at all while you're watching this video, don't forget to hit like. And what I'm gonna do is kind of show you what's inside each box. If I know anything about it and if I have any thoughts on how I can price it, I will let you know. And I'm gonna create different categories. There's gonna be stuff that I'm definitely going to resell, stuff that I'm gonna send into the real real, stuff that I am maybe just gonna consign at like a Play-Doh's closet type place, and then a pile of stuff that I just don't really know what it is and I need to take a little bit more time to research the item. So here goes, let's start with whatever is on top in this box. This is, and let me move this box over. This is by the brand Top Shop. Just, you know, fast fashion. It's not anything super special. And it's like this black kind of crepey shirt. To be honest, this probably will just go to Plato's Closet because if I were to list it, I think maybe I could sell it for like $15 or something like that. It's in a size six. It's got three fourth sleeve um, arms, but yeah, that'll just go to Plato's. This is by the brand Michael Tyler in a size medium. I don't know that I've ever heard of this brand. Um, it is a black dress. So this will go in the pile of brands that I just don't know very much about. It's got this really interesting like ruched detail, like gathered detail at the waist, which I like. And it's a little bit asymmetrical as you can see at the bottom. It's kind of like a faux wrap almost, but it's more of like a gathered pleated situation. I mean, it's really nice. It, this is actually really nice, I feel like, for people like myself who teach music and you know do concerts and stuff. I feel like this would be a really classy thing to wear as you're directing. But I will put that in the I don't know very much about the brand <laughs> pile and do some more research. This is a pair of J. Crew shorts, and these are new with tags. There's actually a good number of items in here that are new with tags. And not only is it new with tags, but this is also in a women's size 37, so it is plus size. I've never seen 37 before. High rise short, I always thought sizes were like 
you know, in even numbers. Uh, but that's a great piece, especially because warmer weather items are starting to sell now. I've been selling a lot of shorts and sandals and things like that. So I will definitely go ahead and list that myself. And I think I will start my pile right there. This is Puma, which is, you know, just kind of like an Adidas or something. Maybe not even as nice as Adidas. Oh, size six. The size is so small. It looks like a pair of like golf shorts, I would say. They are pleated. Um, golf stuff does do really well. So I think I will just go ahead and list these. I'll probably only be able to sell them for like 15 to $20, but my thinking is they will sell pretty quickly. So I'm okay with that. This is Country Sophisticates by Pendleton, made in the USA. Now Pendleton is known for their wool pieces. This is definitely not wool. Um, it'd be really nice if it were silk. I'm kind of assuming that it's not though. And it doesn't say, but it says machine wash, which makes me think that it's probably just polyester. It is really cute though. Um, it's like this blue color. I really like the collar, like the Peter Pan collar on it. I mean, I feel like you could use the word cottage core to describe this. I think I will go ahead and list this. Pendleton is a good brand. It is made in the USA. We'll see how it does. This was exciting. I always love seeing some Eileen Fisher. So this is Eileen Fisher in a size petite large, and it is made of Italian yarn, which I don't know if that means wool or let's see, 100% wool. So it's just this nice little like brown cardigan, open front cardigan sweater. It says large. It just, I don't know. I mean, it is petite because it looks really short to be a large. But yeah, I mean, I'll just make sure I take measurements and all of that because maybe it's supposed to be cropped. I don't know. But excited about that one regardless. This is by the brand Harper Heritage, which I don't remember where this is from. I don't think it's a very good brand. It's a high rise straight jean in a size 24. That's a small 24. But because it's high rise and straight, maybe I'll just try listing it. Even if I only sell it for like 20 ish dollars, I think that's okay. This is by the brand, I don't know how to say it. I want to say Lissy. I've actually sold a few of these pieces before. Brands that are similar to this, I feel like, are like Comfy USA. Um, they're just kind of all like stretchy, comfier pieces. So they, you know, this brand does have a little bit of a following and this being a size medium and just kind of like not so casual, it's a little bit more, you know, you wouldn't wear this like just to lounge around your house, you'd actually wear this out. So I'll go ahead and list it and I'm hoping that it should sell, the, uh, you know, around that $25 range. We shall see. This is a pretty heavy duty sweater by White House Black Market in a size extra small, black and white, as you would imagine from a store called White House Black Market. It zips up the front, it's knit, it's got some really nice pockets on the front. I think I should be able to list this for around like $35 and we'll see. I'll probably have to sit on it for a little bit just because people are not really buying stuff for the cold winter months anymore, but I don't know, we'll see. This is by the brand MPG, which, you know, you can get this at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx for really cheap. I might still list it though, because it's like a great outdoorsy dress. Perfect to go hiking in or just, you know, if you are like going to Disney or something and you just need something that's moisture wicking. Um, and it's in a size medium. It does still have the little cups that are, you know, in the shelf bra and it has this like little mesh panel on the back. I mean, I think I can list it for like 20 and hopefully it moves pretty quick. This is a brand that I have never heard of. Um, the brand is Simon Chang. So this is gonna go in my pile of, I need to do some research. I do like it because it's very interesting. It is houndstooth and it's got just this really interesting hem at the bottom. And it is made of a wool blend. So size six, it's also got this like trim here that I really like. I don't know, maybe we'll find out that it's worth a bajillion dollars. Wouldn't that be exciting? I thought this was really cute. This is a skirt by Avec Les Filets. I don't know how to say it. Um, I'll just show you. I don't know anything about this brand. So I'm gonna look it up 
it looks really nice it's like a pleated skirt and it's in a larger size and it's it's in a size 14 um and it's like a little toucans i think i think it's a little toucan print yeah let's see what it's made out of it is fully lined i think it would just be perfect for the spring and summer so a great piece to list right now there is no tag at least not where I'm looking okay well it'll be a mystery but maybe I can even do like a Google lens and find the original listing what I really like too is so far everything has been in great condition I haven't seen any rips or stains or pulls or any of that kind of stuff so that makes me really happy this is by Marley Lily I, I've never heard of this oh this has to go in the I don't know anything about a pile Marley Lily no idea who that is but this gives me kind of like southern what is it called simply southern vibes kind of like that so it's just got this big old monogram on the front I don't know if that's specific to a person but yeah um it's got pockets it's really soft and it's in pretty good condition it's a size small medium but yeah that'll go in the pile of brands that I know nothing about. This is a pair of just casual athletic pants. They have moisture wicking technology by Merrill. These probably will sell for that 18 to $25 mark. They're in a size small. They're just like a neutral gray. Again, perfect for people who like to do outdoor activities. Just casual, good for lounging around as well. Um, this is another great outdoor brand and piece. This is the North Face. This is in a size six and they are like these cropped cargo pants. These will probably sell between that 20 to $25 range as well. And hopefully they'll sell quickly because this is the season where people are going out and doing outdoor activities, all that kind of stuff. This is a Vineyard Vine skirt in a size six. And it's got a really cute, just kind of nautical print. It's got like little seashells and um, starfish. I really like it. It's very Vineyard Vines. <laughs> so there is that, probably list that for 20 to $25. This is a very bright color. This is the brand Skies Are Blue which I believe is a Stitch Fix brand, and I think maybe you can buy it retail other places as well. Um, there's a tag on here with a $58 price tag. I don't feel like this is like from wherever this was originally sold. Maybe it was like through a consignment store or something. And if that's the case, that's insane because that is too much to be charging for something like this. But the trim is really pretty. So I'll go ahead and list that probably for around $25 to $35. This is a dress by Calvin Klein and it's in a size eight. At first that purple mark scared me because it looks like the mark that is left when someone tries to rip out, you know, that magnetic like anti-theft device, but it's not on the garment itself. So that's good. Um, this is just like a great career piece. Yeah, these sell pretty consistently for me for around that $25 to $35 mark. I'll probably list it at like $35 to $40 to begin with. It's a nice sheath dress. It's in really great condition. And Calvin Klein career dresses do have quite a following. So there are some men's pieces in here. This is by the brand Hagar, which I don't think is that great of a brand. They sell it at places like Meyer and stuff. But it is new with tags. It's a size 40W. It says that it's chambray. Um, and it retailed for $40, just blue shorts. But yeah, I mean, I think these will sell pretty quickly, hopefully, especially given that we are getting closer to warmer weather. And I'll probably list those around that $25 to $30 mark. These are pants from J. Crew. They look like sweatpants, size extra large, which is a great size. Oh, just kind of like joggers. And I don't know if they're men's or women's joggers, but I'll have to look at sizes. I can also look at the style number and the style number in case you don't know. Well, they ripped out the style number, so I can't look there. But I think if I just look up measurements, you know, once I measure them and kind of check the measurements against the size guide on the website, I'll be able to figure it out. They're actually really nice. I wish they were my size because I would wear those. Probably list those for around 25. 
This is a pair of shorts by Columbia. They're in a size 36. Um, so maybe these are men's. Just great casual shorts. They do need a really good steam. A lot of the stuff in here will need a good steam. And these I think would probably sell between that like 18 to 20 something, like $25 mark, but more, probably closer to 18. This is a Torrid piece in a size one, which isn't a great size for Torrid, but still I think it'll sell maybe in that 15 to $18 range. It's a little bit dated of a style, I feel like. It's got um, the faux wrap at the front, ruched sides. It's got this lace uh, panel on the back. I mean, it'll sell. That, yeah, I mean, I'll probably just go ahead and list it, but that could be a Plato's Closet piece. This is the brand UMG. I always have such a hard time moving pieces by this brand, even though they make really cute stuff. This is a size 1XL, and it's just a really sweet pullover with like kind of a ruffled neckline. Not really ruffled, but you know what I mean? And the bottom is kind of ruffled like that. Um, yeah, I mean, the tag, it looks like it's new with tags, but it was priced at $32. I'll probably price it around 20 to 25 and just see what happens. Uh oh, my pile is trying to fall over. This is another new with tags item by the brand ASOS, which is just an online store. You know, they sell a lot of kind of cheaper stuff. Size six, and it is, oh, look at the sleeves. It's like this very bright red faux wrap dress looks to be maybe a midi dress and it's got like a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom pretty cute i will definitely need to steam that this is a pair of adidas pants in a size large they just look like very casual pull-on kind of track pants there is an ankle zip and <clears throat> I can't tell if they're large for women or men. They are lined with like a mesh lining. I will probably list these for around $25. They have pockets, nice and comfy. Okay, I need to, I need to move this pile over soon. Okay, this I'm kind of excited about. The brand is Jude Connolly. Jude Connolly does have a following. It kind of reminds me of Jay McLaughlin. It's like that uh look that aesthetic and that quality i would say this is in a size extra small and it's made of this really stretchy kind of like jersey knit material um, it's blue it's got a polo a high neck which i think is just so classy and then it's got this really fun belt that i'm so thankful is still attached to the piece and it appears to be about midi length so it's a nice trendy length I don't remember exactly how much I can get for this, but I want to say I can list it for around like $50 and that would not be unreasonable. I have not found that much Jude Connolly in the past, so that was exciting. I have no idea what this brand is. I've never heard of it. The brand is Christopher Blue. So this will go in the pile of stuff that I need to research. They're in a size 10 and they are the mid-rise slim ankle. I mean, they're pretty. They've got this really kind of subtle floral print. Printed pants or jeans are not really super popular right now, but I'll do some research, maybe find that they're worth a 10. Not thinking that that's the case, but you never know. This is a fun print and it is Lily Pulitzer, size eight. I do think this is an older tag, but it's still really fun. It's lemons in like obviously yellow and blue. And then there's also like little ladybugs on the skirt. So that's a nice little knee length skirt. Perfect for the summer. Okay. I don't, I don't know what this is. Like at first I thought it was Meryl because of the M, but then it says a like cloud veil next to it. I don't, I don't know what any of that means. So this will obviously go in the pile of stuff that I just, I don't know very much about, but they just seem like athletic pants. You would wear them outside. You know, they're very similar to, uh, yeah, actual Merrill stuff, Columbia, North Face, that sort of thing. This is the first item that I am noticing a couple flaws on. And obviously I'm not looking super carefully at everything. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. So there may be more flaws than, you know, what I was able to notice. But I don't know if you can see, there are some like pulls and stuff. They're not anything major. 
Um, and I think they're still worth listing, especially depending on what this even is, if it's even a desirable brand. But I'll go ahead and put it in the pile of stuff that I need to research. A lot of you mentioned in my last men's thread of rescue box unboxing that you really enjoyed these brand spotlights that I did. And so I thought I'd bring them back for videos whenever, you know, I came across a brand that I didn't really know much about, but upon researching it, realized that it was, you know, going to be helpful for all of you to hear about that brand. So this particular brand, Cloud Veil, it's no longer an active brand, although I guess there are obviously some pieces still out there that people can purchase and whatnot, but it was a climbing and skiing apparel company. Comps are a little bit all over the place, but for the most part, it seems like if you can pick things up for pretty cheap, which, you know, this piece I was able to for under $3, that it may be a pretty decent flip anywhere from that like $25 to $50 range, which is a big range, but you know, I think that's worth it. This is the brand LA Gypsy. This looks really cheap. <laughs> this looks like you can get it at one of those little boutique stores and they just kind of buy wholesale pieces. Like this is not good construction. I'll look it up, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is a Plato's Closet item and I'm pretty sure that even they will be very reluctant to take this off my hands. Um, yeah, but we'll look it up. Oh, my research pile is already falling over and there's not even that many pieces in it. This is new with tags and the brand is, it looks like B-O-C-C-I. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to tell because like the O and the C kind of overlap. Um, it's in a size medium and it's made of silk and polyester. It is pink. And I kind of think it's a men's piece. I think it's a men's lightweight pullover sweater. I mean, it's Italian. There's some silk in there. Maybe it's worth a ton of money, but we'll do some research. It's got like a very subtle, like textured print, as you can see. Okay, you guys have never sold this brand before. Never. I'm so excited. This is a great denim brand. These are the Jane black top jeans in a size 26. And at the bottom, they have a really cool distressed hem. They look to be like a flare jean. I'm excited. I, I don't even know what comps are for this brand because I've never looked it up. So we'll actually put it in the I need to research pile. Ooh, that's exciting. This doesn't look as exciting. <laughs> this, this feels cheap. Ugh. This brand makes me so mad because I always think that mate. What what does this make me think that I have found? Oh, Missook, Missook, like exclusively Missook, which is a decent brand. And then it says Miss Look, and you're like, oh, it's a size extra large. They're super lightweight. I don't know. I think honestly, I kind of want to try Play-Dohs, but I don't think that they'll take them. But I'm gonna put them in the Play-Dohs. Eh. I'll just put them in the Play-Doh's pile. Play-Doh's pile has two items in it right now, which is really good. Ah, but I think it's gonna get a third. This is Vanilla Star. I don't remember where this brand is sold. I wanna say like Kohl's or something. It's in a size small. Oh, it's new with tags. But yeah, I mean, even still, I feel like on Poshmark or eBay it would sell for like $10 or something. I'm pretty sure it's a Junior's brand too, so that'll go to Play-Doh's. It's cute though, but oh, oh my. Okay, I feel like this could be an okay brand. The brand is G-I-L-I, and what it stands for is Got It, Love It, size 12 petite. It's in this like champagne colored, well, let's find out if it's real leather or faux leather. I have a feeling it's faux leather, and hopefully, okay. Yeah, it's um, polyurethane, coating is polyurethane, <laughs> polyurethane is that how you say it I think so polyurethane so it's faux leather but it's got these really cool zippers you know here um, I mean it's pretty cool it has to go in my let's do some more research pile it's kind of exciting though I mean I think it might actually be a decent brand this is New with tags, but it's the brand Soprano. I'm going to go ahead and send this to Play-Dohs too. It is a really sweet little dress, super lightweight. It's not lined or anything though. 
Um, I think I'll have a hard time moving it, so I'll just go ahead and send that to Play-Dohs. It also does not feel good. It feels like a tablecloth. This is a vest, and it is by Columbia in a size small and like a very bright coral color. It's got a full zip on the front, fleece lining, or actually just fleece on like the collar. It's in really good condition. I mean, I'll probably list it around like 25. I feel like these are good pieces to go hiking in and just kind of be outdoors in. This is the brand Worthington, which I think is sold at places like Macy's and stuff. It's not the best brand. However, this is kind of cute. I mean, look at look at the sleeve. I really like the lace. Like Worthington, good job. Good job on this. It's actually pretty nice. I think I will go ahead and list it. Size small. I feel like I could list it for 25 and I'll just see what happens. This is by Alexia Admore, size extra small. I don't know anything about this brand. I've never seen it before. I've never heard of it. It appears to be like a mini, mini dress in a very bright pink color with all of this like detailing at the chest, sleeveless. It's really fun. I'm gonna have to just do some research and we'll see if that's worth anything. It kind of feels pretty nice. I don't know, it's very interesting. Okay, we're almost at the bottom of this first box. I feel like we're moving pretty fast. This is the brand Milano. I think this is another brand that you can find pretty often at places like TJ Maxx and stuff. Size large. Um, it has like this gathered moment at the waist. It's black and white, but again, it's not lined. It just doesn't feel or look like super high quality. I'm going to see if Play-Dohs will take that off of my hands. This is Skyzer Blue again, which again is oftentimes sold at Stitch Fix, size large, and they are just these printed pull-on elastic waist pants. Very lightweight. I feel like they're pretty sheer, so eh, maybe not. But yeah, very comfortable. I feel like these would be really good for like a cruise or something. Just very lightweight. I'll go ahead and list those probably for that $25 range. I don't think that this brand is anything special. E-Crew, they're in a size small, or this is in a size small. It's really cute though. It's like this paisley print and there's like floral details and there's like very delicate smocking on the shoulder. I think I'll go ahead and list it. I think it's really pretty. I severely misjudged this brand. I thought it was another one of those TJ Maxx Marshalls type brands, but it's actually a pretty expensive brand. Most of their pieces are above $100, and it is a brand sold at some online boutiques like Hallsbrook, um, but their priorities, like you can see, are fabric, fit, and details, and it's a lot of clothes that can go from day to night, but they also have some really just kind of pretty feminine pieces, kind of like the blouse in this box. And so I actually think I will go ahead and list the blouse for around $35. That's pretty much on the higher end of comps, but even if I got 25 for it, I would be really happy. And I do think it's a well-constructed piece. That's a size small. All right, I saw another tag. This is a pair of shorts from American Eagle and it's the high rise shorty in a size double zero. So um, perfect time to be listing this kind of stuff. The size double zero does make it a little bit harder to sell, but I'll still list it for 20 to $25, and I think that'll sell for me no problem. This is new with tags. Retail $128. Nick and Zoe. You guys, I have the hardest time selling this brand. I know it's like a pretty decent brand. This is in a size four. This skirt retailed for $128, and I think it's just made out of like polyester, it feels like. Let's see. Just a pencil skirt. Rayon and cotton and spandex, and no polyester. <laughs> but yeah, a nice color block detail. I don't think I can list it for anything close to $128, but we'll see how that does. This is a fun skirt. This is Halogen, which I believe is a Nordstrom House brand in a size too petite. It's got a very like retro look to it, as you can see. Really fun. Halogen has a horrible resale value, but I may try listing it and just see what happens. It'll be really easy to list, although I will need to steam, which is pretty annoying, but, oh, okay. There's like a little, uh, this guy was in there, so I was like, what's, what's happening? Okay, I mean, I'll probably be able to list this for like 15 to $20, but, okay. 
This is by the brand Peppermint USA. I, I sold or I have listed a children's piece by a brand called Peppermint. I don't know if it's the same Peppermint. I'm not super duper feeling this. It feels a little more Tisha Adams to me, but we'll put it in the pile of clothes that I need to research and learn more about because who knows, maybe that's, maybe that's worth a ton. This is by one of my favorite bread and butter brands to sell, T by Talbot. This is in a size petite, which is basically like an extra small petite. Um, and it's a really nice dress. It's got like stripes. It's very soft. It feels very, it just feels very nice. Um, it's got a little exposed zipper on the back. Let's see what this is made out of. I'll probably list this for around $25 to $35. Cotton polyester and spandex. I don't know. It feels much nicer than that, but yeah. I know some people say they have a lot of luck with the T by Talbot's line. For me, I don't know. I haven't been having the best luck with it, but we'll see how that does. This is Boss Hugo Boss, size large. It's like a men's button-up shirt. It's got a little bit of a geometric print to it, as you can see. I guess you could call it like, it, it is kind of like mini checkered. I don't know. Um, Boss Hugo Boss is a good brand. Hugo Boss just by itself is even better. But this shirt will still probably only go for about $25 to $35. Part of me wonders if the Real Real takes Boss Hugo Boss. So I will put it in a separate pile just to check. Because personally, I don't want to deal with that. I have a lot of button-up shirts already that like need to be steamed and listed and ugh. so we'll see if the real real takes that um this is eliza j i actually really still like to pick up this brand this is in a size six and it's just a very pretty dress perfect for anyone attending a wedding or a bridal shower or a baby shower um, they just make such classy and kind of like preppy pieces that'll probably sell for around 35 dollars Okay, so there's the belt to this piece. This is the brand Antonio Milani, which I think they make really nice pieces. It just doesn't retail for a ton and it therefore doesn't resell for a ton. So this is a kind of like dark red full zip dress. You don't see that very often. It's got that one zippered pocket and it does have this belt. I feel like if I were still sending stuff into thread up, I could send this in except for, okay, so here's a little bit more damage, if you will, or like flaws. There's a little bit of pilling down there. Do you see that? Um, so I will just maybe try to sell it myself. Maybe, maybe even Play-Dohs, but I think it's just too mature for Play-Dohs. And then the last thing in this box is, okay. I got to I got to do research on this. So it's Elizabeth and James, which you know, Elizabeth and James is the brand that is run by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. They also have like Olsen Boy and they also have The Row. The Row I think is like top tier, so expensive, you know, stuff retails for a ton. I know that Elizabeth and James is now also sold at Kohl's and I don't remember how to tell. So I'm going to put it in my um, pile of stuff that I need to research because I want to know if I have the good stuff or just the rant stuff. Um, if it is the good stuff, I think that even the real real will take it. So I probably would just send this to them because I don't want to deal with it. Although it looks like there's a flaw on this one in that... The pants are supposed to be cuffed, and here the you can see the cuffing has really kind of come undone. So unless I want to take the time to fix that, which if this is worth a lot, I will. If it's Kohl's, I will not. So I'm going to put it in my pile of stuff that, like, I need to do more research. But this is in a size 20W, which is a great size. And I think the style is pretty great. But, you know, it honestly, looking at the inside, does not look super well made. I'm looking for tag. Here we go. Let's see. Rayon polyester. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll do some research. It's Kohl's. It says right on the tag. Wah, wah. Honestly, we're going to see if I can sneak this by into Plato's closet and maybe I'll just try to tack that um, cuff a little bit. But yeah, that's not gonna be worth my time. 
All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put all the stuff that I do plan on selling in here so that things don't topple over, and then we'll get out a new box. All right, one of my feet are asleep, so I'm gonna be sitting kind of awkwardly. Here is box number two, and the first thing in here, let me move that over. Okay. This has no tag. <laughs> It's like this black satin dress with sequins, like in a floral pattern. It seems to be floor length. It's got this mesh panel on the front. To be honest, it looks and feels a little bit like something that someone made at home. Oh, there is a tag though. The brand is Together, size six. We'll look it up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about this brand. I just insulted it greatly, calling it homemade. We'll look it up. Maybe it'll be worth a gazillion dollars. We shall see. Okay, that's my research pile. Mm, this doesn't look super promising. I don't know anything about this brand either. The brand is Sport Haley, and this is in a size extra large. Um, I'm not liking it. I, I don't think it's very cute, but we'll put it in the pile of stuff that needs to get researched. I feel like it's maybe like a golf piece. This is Eddie Bauer 2XL, which is a great size. It's got Polar Tech. Anytime there's like Polar Tech or Thin Soleil or Gore Tex or anything like that, that means that that company paid you know, for that like third party company to come in and add some extra oomph to the piece, which usually means it's, you know, worth a little bit more. I mean, a lot of times in the resale world, people don't care. They just see Eddie Bauer, but this feels really good. It's just like a nice pullover quarter zip fleece. I can probably list this for around $25. It's not really the season for it anymore, but it's okay. This is a pair of jeans by Tribal, is the brand, in a size four. They are the boyfriend uh, jean. Oh, they've got all these embroidered flowers on the front, and they have been hemmed, as you can see. So we're gonna see <laughs> if Play-Dohs wants these. I don't think that they will, but we shall see. And I get it, like they're really long, but also that hem job was not well done not at all um this is lady hagen this is a golf brand and i don't think it's super expensive it's a size medium however i have had really good luck selling lady hagen i had a friend from church give me a ton of stuff that i think her daughter wore when she was learning how to golf so i will probably go ahead and list this and it's lined it's got like the shorts underneath it's it's hard to show you but ugh, whatever but yeah i mean i think i can still get maybe like 18 to 20 dollars for this so i'll go ahead and list that this is lija size six i don't know what this brand is i'll put it in the i need to do research pile um they look like they could be kind of golf pants ish i don't know they've got an interesting zipper on the back i don't know what this is i don't know um, I do know this brand. This is Chico's. This is a size two. Chico's does use vanity sizing and I never can remember what the sizing is. Two is not like a, you know, when we call something a size two, it's not that. Um, it's just a very plain pullover shirt. I mean, I'll go ahead and list it probably because I don't know what else I would do with it. I don't think that my Play-Dohs will take it. Um, I think it'll sell for like 15 to $20 if that this is Vineyard Vines in a size 10 in like a mint color. It's a little dated, but it's just a nice uh, popover shirt. It's made of a very interesting fabric. I'm just annoyed because I know I'm going to have to steam it because it's pricey. But what are you made out of? Hmm. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It just feels very interesting. But yeah, Vineyard Vines usually does pretty well for me. It has like a decent following. This is the North Face, and it's a size medium. I think it's a men's piece. Yeah, for sure this is a men's piece. So I think this will probably sell for that like $18 to $25 range. And hopefully it'll sell pretty quickly. Not bad. Okay. 
this is a dress by Ivanka Trump in a size 16. I believe she's no longer carried at places like Nordstrom and stuff. Um, I know her pieces can have a little bit of a following, so we'll see how this does. It's got a very interesting detail here. <laughs> yeah, it's not my favorite piece, but we'll still see if I can get like $25 out of that. This is, this looks like it's a youth piece. It's the brand Head, which I see a lot, but I don't really know like how much it's worth or anything like that. It's in a youth size 18 and it's just a pullover hoodie. It's fun. I mean, it's got like the raglan sleeves and I like the very like fluorescent green accents in the zipper and on the inside of the hood. So we'll see. For some reason, I want to say this has something to do with tennis. Isn't that right? Isn't Head like the brand of tennis rackets? I don't know. I like this print. This is Jack. Jack is, I want to say a junior's brand. Um, I think I'll have a hard time moving these. So I might just see if Plato's wants them. I mean, they're really cool. They're a really cool design, but they look like they're low, maybe mid rise, but maybe even low rise. And it's not like the most desirable brand. So I'm going to put that in the Plato's pile. This is Tiger Woods collection, which I feel like I've heard can do okay. Nike fit dry, size large. Um, it is a gray quarter zip. Mm, is it gray or black? I don't know. And there's some little, there's a like glitter on here or something, which I don't think, I don't think came on the shirt. I don't think that's the style. I think just, oh, and there is embroidery on one of the sleeves it looks like maybe it was for either like a conference or for a tournament or maybe a hotel or something that's kind of annoying but it's kind of small so hopefully you know when i list it and show that and talk about it people won't mind at least it's not like obnoxiously on the chest like you see oftentimes but yeah if you look do you see like the little bit of glitter it's kind of funny glitter is my husband's number one nightmare like he hates glitter so much this is a Fleta. It's a size medium and it is uh, like a workout tank. Unfortunately, it only has one of the bra cups on the right side, so you'll look a little lopsided. Um, but that's okay. I might, I might see if Play-Dohs wants that because I have a hard time selling that kind of stuff. This is new with tags Gianna. Four way reversible novelty top. Yikes. Can be worn four different ways. Size medium. Yeah. I feel like they mean you can like wear it inside. You can't wear it inside out because the tag is right there. How can you wear this four different? I don't know. I don't care to find out. We'll see if Plato's cares. <laughs> um, this doesn't look promising. This is 89th and Madison, size 16. I forget where they sell this brand. Again, I want to say maybe like Nordstrom Rack, maybe Marshalls. There is a stain on here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I might see if Play-Dohs will take this, but if not, I will just probably donate it because I know it's definitely not worth my time or I should say my husband's time and energy to try to get the stains out. So yeah, we'll just see if Play-Dohs will take it. And if not, that's okay. This is Adidas Clima 365 size. What size are you? Size extra large. And it is just a V-neck pullover. Very basic. I... We'll list that for probably 18 to $25. This is Zara. It's a size large. Oh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. This is a very interesting piece. This looks to me like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the brand, like those art to wear brands, like, like a Joseph Ribkoff or something. It does not look like Zara, but we'll look it up and see if at any point it was like a blogger favorite or something. I would be shocked if it was. This is Patagonia. It's a size medium. It is a brown dress. 
Sometimes I have super good luck with Patagonia dresses like this and sometimes I sit on them forever. So I can sell them sometimes for like $35. This is so plain and it's like brown. I feel like maybe I'll get closer to like 25 for that. This is apostrophe, which I think is like JCPenney or Kohl's or something, size 10. I have PTSD when it comes to apostrophe because one of the very first pieces that I ever picked up with the intent of reselling at a thrift store was a cardigan by apostrophe. That was about four years ago, maybe three and a half years ago. I, I still have it because it has not sold. So we'll see if Plato's wants that. I feel like they will not, but let's just, let's just find out together. This is another Lily Pulitzer piece, and it's really interesting because it says shrunken. I've never seen that before on a Lily Pulitzer piece. Um, this is a size small. It is a Pima cotton and spandex blend, just a short sleeve, or sorry, long sleeve polo shirt, very preppy. Um, this is another North Face piece, size extra large for men. Just a nice pair of outdoorsy shorts. Great for, again, hiking camping, that sort of thing. This is a Columbia fleece vest, full zip, women's size medium. It's got some pockets, probably list that for around $25. Ooh, yes, please. Okay, I love this brand. Love, love, love it. The brand is Jane McLaughlin. This is a size small, uh, modern fit. Is this men's? Does Jane McLaughlin make men's clothes? Because this is not, this is not a woman's size small. It's got this really cute anchor print on it. It's very preppy. I think this is a men's piece. Very interesting. Excited about that. Love this brand. They have like very plain shirts that are made of their kind of signature fabric, which I believe is called Catalina Knit. And you can sell just like a plain black top made of that fabric for like $50, $60, even used. It's crazy. Um, this is another Patagonia piece. Something happened to the tag right here, as you can see, which is where the size was. But it was a size extra large. Or not was. It still is an extra large. I've never seen anything like this from Patagonia before. But it's got this zipper it kind of reminds me of that head piece um with like the bright green accents in the zippers and stuff there is a little tiny flaw i would say by the zipper you can see where the fabric maybe got snagged once or twice by the zipper and it's interesting because it doesn't say patagonia anywhere else except for on the tag so not quite sure what that's about and I'm not sure if it's a men's or a women's Patagonia piece. I think it is a men's though. That's, I've never seen anything like that from Patagonia. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that. This is another Lily Pulitzer. This is in a size small. It is like a little popover tunic. It's got some beading on the neckline. I'll be amazed if all the beading is intact, but it, it looks like it is. And it's got like a very gentle or subtle, not actually it's not subtle, but it's got like a floral print. It's cute. I'm not quite sure how to price it, but probably for that $25 mark. This is a pair of jeans from American Eagle. It's in a size um, zero and it is just some skinny jeans. Probably list these for $25. They do appear to be like low to mid-rise, but they're in really good shape. I love this brand. The brand is cool. It doesn't say it anywhere on there, but that like mountain logo, that is cool. Um, their pants have done so well for me in the past. And truth be told, I've not sold a lot of their tops, but this appears to be a women's flannel top. And I'm not sure how much this will go for, but hopefully I can list it around at least $25. We'll see how that does. This is Michael Michael Kors in a size petite medium. This is probably not worth a whole lot. Maybe, like, if I'm lucky, $20. 
Ugh, not loving the print. Part of me just wants to see if Plato's will take that off my hands. I don't know, like Michael Michael Kors, it just, it sits for me forever. I have no idea what this brand is. By, by Lise, by Lice. It is this white draped piece. I like it, like it's nice. I just, I don't know anything about it. So I will put it in my pile of stuff that I need to research. Ooh, it's falling over. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to, okay. This is a skirt by Sport Haley. Remember we saw this brand earlier, but I don't know anything about it. I do like this piece a lot more than that weird white top. Um, it's got like a very fun, bold geometric print and it is lined. So it's got like the shorts on the inside. So I do really feel like this is something um, like a golf brand perhaps. I like the bold gold buttons on that. I'll put that in the pile of stuff that needs to get research. This is Tommy Hilfiger size large. It, oh, it's a men's large. Interesting. It definitely has like vintage vibes to it. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's got like the Tommy Hilfiger crest. Interesting. Sometimes Tommy Hilfiger stuff has dates on it on the tag. I, I don't think that this would. And I also can't find the tag to it. Um, but yeah, at this moment in time, I'm gonna say that I'll list it. It's very baggy. <laughs> I kind of feel like that could be vintage. We'll see. All right, this is a skirt by Love Fire. This is definitely like a junior's brand. This is in a size small. Um, I mean, it's kind of cute, but we're gonna go ahead and Give that to Plato's and see if they'll take it. This is a pair of pants by Jules and Leopold. I can't remember where this is sold. I mean, I think it's like a department store brand. I think you can get it again at places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's kind of cute, but I'm gonna do a little bit more research and just make sure that it's even worth listing. Maybe that's a Plato's piece, who knows? This looks like Lily. Yep, this looks like vintage Lily. So here's the tag, size six. And it is another skirt, just like in this yellow color with some flowers on it. I'll go ahead and list that. Um, there are a couple spots. Let me see where they are. There are some spots as you can see, but I think it'll be okay. This is blue pepper size large, another um, junior brand that I will send to Plato's. I feel like it's a little bit dated of a style, so I don't even know if they'll take it. This is Luciana Barbera, made in Italy for Lewis Boston, size extra large. Don't know what any of that means. I've never heard of this brand, so I'm gonna look it up, but it is a button up shirt. It feels really good. It's got like a little pattern on it. Um, it feels nice. A lot of times when things are made in Italy, that's not a bad thing, but it doesn't say, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just 100% cotton made in Italy. We'll see. I'm gonna put it in my pile of stuff that I need to research. There are little, oh, actually no, those are not, are those stains? No, I think they're just little, I don't know. I, I might have to like clean this up a little bit. This is Who, What, Where, which is sold at Target, size medium. Just a nice pullover uh, top with a little necktie. I will see if Plato's wants that. This is kind of cool. This is a Nike piece in a size extra large. Um, it's just like this red pullover windbreaker jacket. I don't know very much about this style. I've not seen it before, but I feel like it'll sell at least for like $35, wouldn't you think? So we'll see about that one. This is bar three. I, I want to say this is a Macy's house brand, um, size small. It's, it's, I, I can't tell if it's a dress. I think it's like a shirt dress or a tunic. 
I, I'm not going to list it though. I'm going to see if Plato's wants it. It's not a very good brand. Um, like it doesn't have the highest resale value. This is Dahlia, which to be honest with you, I have a hard time moving. I have tried selling it once or twice before. Um, but it is new with tags and it is a blazer and it is a size 14. I don't know. Do you see the buttons? Maybe, maybe we'll give it a go. We'll just we'll give it a shot. This is another Dahlia piece. This is not new with tags, I don't think. This is a size medium. This is the Dahlia tag that I'm used to seeing at the thrift store. Um, it's got kind of this like space dye fabric. It's a dress, but oh no, my pile of clothes to research just fell over. I'm gonna take this to Play-Doh's because it'll take forever to move. This is a marmot piece in a size extra large. Let's see if it's for men or for women. It is a women's piece. Just a pullover, like, that's interesting. Um, marmot can, like marmot is a great brand. However, there are some marmot pieces that are sold at Costco. So that drives down the resale value quite a bit. I don't know if this is a Costco piece or a regular marmot piece. It doesn't feel extraordinary, so we'll, we'll see, but I bet I could still list it for like $18, $25. This is a cabbie skirt. This is the old cabbie label. Um, I think there's an example of a newer cabbie piece in this box too. Like you can see the C and the A are capitalized and the B and the I are lowercase. This is a size four. It's a very intense <laughs> A-line skirt with like a paisley print, but I bet it'll still sell for maybe, oh, it's got some intense buttons too. I think it'll still sell for like that 18 to $20 range. This is a Nike dry fit shirt in a men's large. This will probably, oh, Nike Pro, which is even better. I'll probably list it for like 20-ish dollars. This is Lilies of Beverly Hills. I don't know what that is, so I'll look it up. Size. Nothing. Oh, size small. Um, it's interesting. It's like a pullover shirt with this fun print, but then like the bottom hem is an elastic hem. Kind of interesting. Um, I'll look that up. I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know that I've ever come across it before in my life. All right, we're getting to the bottom of this box. This is by the brand. Are you brandless? Oh, Isle by Melon Kazar, made in Turkey, size small. Um, that means nothing to me, so I need to do some research. It feels like that Eliza J dress. It's again, kind of like that jersey knit, that stretch knit. Um, it's got a lot going on. It's like a paisley print, but then also polka dots. I mean, it kind of works. It's just very busy, so. There's that. Uh, I'll have to look that one up. I don't know anything about it. This is new with tags. And it's Parker. Nice. This retail for $238. And it is this blue striped dress with a waist tie. It needs a good steam, but I think it has the potential to be cute. I really like a high neck. I also really like the buttons on that. Did I say what size this was? Size eight. Oh, hopefully that one does pretty well. This is just Nike Golf, size extra large. But again, golf stuff is selling. I don't know about this color. It's like in this orange. Probably just list it kind of low and try to move it out quickly. Probably list it around 15 to $18. This is this is the example of a newer cabbie piece. This is in a size medium, and it is this kind of tunic with, again, this like draped detail on the side at the waist. We've been seeing that a lot in this box, I think. Um, I don't think that this piece will go for a lot. They're more, cabbie's more like, I mean, not that this is even plain, but like, you know, like sleeveless pieces and whatnot, they don't go for a ton. This is Tommy Hilfiger size 12. This also looks like it could be vintage. 
but not the kind of vintage that anyone cares about because it's literally just a striped button-up shirt. Um, yeah, I, this one I really don't think is worth reselling, but we'll see. This is a pair of jeans by Harley Davidson, which I think can do okay. There is a little bit of a flaw. You can see there's some heel drag on the bottom, but I'll just take pictures of it and note that. And it's only on one leg and not the other, so you know it's not like purposeful. Um, they appear to be high-waisted, which is great. These are a boot cut size four long, which is also great. Yeah, uh, there's some wear in the knee. I think I should be able to list these though, at least for 25, maybe even more. I don't know that I've ever listed Harley Davidson jeans, so it'll be interesting to see how those do. And that's the end of this box here. Um, you know, I, I have the handful that I pulled out. This is BCBG Max Azria, size small. I have the hardest time moving this brand, and this... This appears to be a much older style. I mean, we'll try it, but this that brand is hard for me. This is Soft by Joie, size medium. I do love Joie. This is a red. Oh, look at that really pretty ruffle detail at the bottom. I think it's a dress with like a dropped waist. It is pretty dated like you can see the tab sleeves which you know this is just not a thing anymore and I feel like it just dates pieces but we'll see I mean I'll list it we'll see what happens probably list it for like 25 30 dollars this is Callaway 3x though Callaway again is a golf brand so lots of golf pieces in here and this has a fun print I don't know how you would really describe it but it's a good size so I'm gonna go ahead and try to list that and maybe we can get 15, 18. Another pair of Harley Davidson jeans. These are black as well. Let's see if they're the same style. They're a boot cut in a size 10. So not even the same size as the last one. And no heel drag. So these are in better shape, better size. We'll see how these do. Hopefully I can list these for like 35-ish dollars. And the last thing in this box is it looks like a brand new Tommy Hilfiger regular fit shirt for men. A button up shirt, perfect for the office. You can wear it under a suit. Yeah, I can probably list this for like 20 ish dollars. I just hate button up shirts so much because they get wrinkled so quickly. It's such a pain to steam them and photograph them and all that kind of stuff. But Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to put this stuff away and we will dig into our third box and that'll be the end of it for this video. All right, I have the last box open that we're gonna look at together for this video. And I don't know what's in this box. I didn't look through it, so I'm very excited. This is the brand, I think it's Phi. I believe this is an anthropology brand. Let's look. Yeah, this is anthropology. It's just like a very lightweight, pretty watercolor tank. Um, it's in a size extra small. It looks like it could be older, so we'll see if that's worth anything, but I'm gonna keep that in my sell this pile. This is Diane von Furstenberg. It's 100% silk, size two. Oh, it's a skirt. Actually, it looks like um, like River Rock. I think that's the print maybe. Oh, sad. So there is a flaw because here it like clasps and the little hooks that this would clasp into is gone. We'll see, we'll see what I do with this. Um, I have sold like very damaged Diane von Furstenberg before, so hopefully that's what happens with that skirt too. This is new with tags. The brand is Walter Hagen, which is like the same as Lady Hagen, but the men's version, I believe. This is in a size 40 um, golf shorts, so I think those will sell probably. I don't, let's see, let's see if there was a retail price on this. There is not, but I'm assuming at least for $25. 
This is new with tags. The brand is Indulge. It's a size 3X. Um, it's a jumpsuit. I've never heard of this brand before. I'm assuming that it is like a Nordstrom house brand or something like that though. I think I will just go ahead and list it though because of its size and because of um, the fact that it's new with tags. This is Nike dry fit size extra large, I think for women because it's definitely not men's. And um, it's just a workout top. I list that for 18 ish dollars. This is a Calvin Klein dress. I thought so. It just had the look of it. Size six in um, this, what color is this? Um, like a cobalt blue. Again, with the gathering on the side, it's got cap sleeves, great career piece. And again, I'll probably list this for around $35. If I were still sending stuff into ThreadUp, they really like those Calvin Klein dresses. Ooh, not loving this so far. Let's see. Okay, it's a skirt, Vanilla Bay. I don't. This is gonna go to Plato's. <laughs> it's, and I don't. I don't even think Plato's will take it. But we're gonna. We're gonna see. Um, this is Aero Pastel. It is new with tags, size medium. It's just like a pullover shirt. I might list, I no, this is, this is gonna go to Play-Dohs. What am I even thinking? Let's see. Mondetta, I always see this brand at the uh, thrift store and at places like Play-Dohs and stuff. It's not like super high end, but it's like an athletic line. Um, Play-Dohs is always looking for athletic clothes, so I, I'm definitely just going to take this there. It's got like a moto zip on the front. Yeah, I don't think that that'll be worth my time. This is the brand Joy, I think. I've never heard of it. The tag is really cute, but... Oh, it's a shirt. I thought it was a skirt at first, and I was so confused. It's this polka dot off the shoulders shirt with like little tied sleeves. Um, I don't know what size it is or anything, though. And it doesn't look like there are any other... Oh, here's a tag. Size medium. I mean, I'll look it up. I bet it's not anything, though. But I'll put it in the pile of stuff that needs to be researched. This is a pair of leggings by... Oh, Onzi Flo. You guys, I've never found this brand. And I feel like it does okay. So this is in a size extra small. It's like a pair of camo print leggings. I'm excited about this. I love, you know, getting to try out new brands that I've heard other people talk about. This is Ralph Lauren in a size small. Just a nice gingham button-up shirt, button-down shirt. Um, I just have to figure out if it's for men or for women. I will list this for $25. This is Chelsea and Theodore, size 12. This is, I think you can get this at Nordstrom. I think it's like a house brand. Oh, it's kind of pretty though. It's this white crochet lace dress. I might list this, we'll see. And it is in a good size, so. A lot of times though with this material, you just have to look carefully because um, a lot of times there are like rips in the crochet lace, so you just gotta be careful. But oh, yeah, I think that's actually not bad. This is Merrill. This has a heavy duty zipper. Um, this is in a size large and it is just a full zip hooded jacket type thing. Wow, these sleeves are just so intense. There's like no need for that, but yeah, probably list that for 25 to 35 dollars. This is Jeff Rose, never heard of it. Made in Italy, size large, but I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'll look it up though. I'll look you up, Mr. Rose. Let's see. This is another Athleta piece, and this is in a size medium in like a really fun pink color. Here's the tag, even though I showed you some Athleta earlier. Just a nice long sleeve. It does have this like mesh back. I feel like this is actually a swim top. What is it called? Like a rash guard? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Um, the nice thing about 
Athleta too is that on the tag they have a style number that you can look up. This is also a really old piece. This is from like 2013, but if it is a rash guard especially, I think that's fine. It'll still sell. Some more Harley Davidson. Oh, this is kind of a cool piece. This is a size large and it is a kind of like acid wash tank. Um, so it says Harley Davidson on the front in like a really kind of retro throwback font. And then on the back, it says Detroit. I think this could be decent. So I'll definitely list that. Chico's, and this is old Chico's, you can tell by the tag, but this is made of 100% linen. Interesting. Nice bold print, size two. I'll go ahead and list that though. I think that'll do well. Chico's linen usually does pretty well for me. Another Patagonia piece. This is a long sleeve dress in a size medium. I'll probably list it for around $35. It's got like, mm, like a, what kind of print would you say that is? Like a vine print? I don't know, but okay. This is Mark Shale. I don't know anything about Mark Shale. I'll look it up. It is 100% polyester, size large. There's the tag. I think it's men's, and I think it's supposed to be like a faux suede. Yeah, very interesting. Um, I will, I will look it up. This is Polo Ralph Lauren, size extra large. I think extra large kids. I actually really like this detail on the sleeve, but I don't know that it's worth a whole lot. But we'll go ahead and list it and see what we can do with it. Red cap? I don't know. I'll look it up. Extra, extra large. It looks like a work shirt, and it looks really cheap. But we'll look it up. I don't know anything about I don't know anything about that. Um, this is Artisan New York. I think you can get this at like a TJ Maxx or something like that too. So I'm going to see if Plato's Closet wants this. It is a size large. It's all right. This is J. Crew. It is new with tags. It's a size four. It looks like it is part of their like bridesmaid line almost. So I'll look up the style and see. It's 100% silk exterior. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what that's all about. Um, their like bridesmaids dresses are really popular. And so if it is a bridesmaids dress, that'll be really great. You know, summer is wedding season and people are always looking to see if they can get bridesmaids dresses for cheaper than what they would be online. But that really does look like an older style. This is a Jay McLaughlin piece. It is in a size extra small and it is, oh, so darling. It is this white top. This is like small though, but I don't feel like it's a fabric that could have shrunk. Yeah, it's just combed cotton, so. Oh, I really like that. No idea how much something like that could go for. Um, let's see. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is Isabel Marant. I thought this was going to be like Chico's because, <laughs> like, look at it. Like, these are wild. That's a good brand though, guys. This is gonna go straight into the real real because they're crazy. Made in Morocco, size 34. Ooh, this is my first time finding this brand. How exciting. Yeah, it's extremely ridiculous and crazy. Wow, that's exciting. Okay, okay, so there's my very, very small, the real real pile there. This is Zara Basic. This is a size four. Cool. These are interesting. <laughs> look, look at that. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Hopefully these were like a blogger favorite. They're so unique that I feel like they really could be. No idea how to price these, but kind of here for it. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. 
Eileen Fisher, new with tags, t size 10 petite. They are just this pair of like green pants. They look to be cropped. And I, they kind of look like they're an older tag. But I'll go ahead and list them. Yeah, size 10 petite. I do love me some Eileen. This is BB Dakota. I, I think sometimes they sell this on like Revolve and stuff. And this is a pretty cute tweed skirt. So honestly, I might try listing it. Size six. Yeah. It's, that's a toss up. That could be a Plato's Closet piece or maybe I'll try to list it. I never know how to say this brand. Bobo. I'm going to just go ahead and, well, ugh, see, sometimes they make cute stuff. Um, this is a size medium. It's a Nordstrom house brand. Honestly, I'm just going to give this to Plato's because while it will sell on Poshmark, it'll just take forever. This is free people with an upside down <laughs> tag. So that's funny. So you can see it says free people, but um, I was holding it for you upside down. This is a very heavy duty pleated front denim top. It's cute though. I like it. Um, size extra small. Yeah, I'll go ahead and list that. I like it. I don't like it enough that I would keep it, but yeah. This is Express size medium. I'm going to take this to Plato's. Express stuff really doesn't have enough of a resale value for me. Daniel, Daniel Cremil jeans. Never heard of it. This is going to go in my I need to research it pile. And it's it's this interesting yellow button-up shirt. Yeah. I don't I don't know anything about this, so I will put that in my I need to research pile. This is Blondie Nights by Linda Burnell. Okay. This is a junior's piece. This is a size seven. I don't think Plato's will take this, but I will try. I feel like you could wear this to like a prom or a homecoming, but it looks very dated. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. This is Liverpool. They sell this brand sometimes at places like Nordstrom and um, Stitch Fix. It's kind of interesting though. It's got like this cuff and then on the cuff there are embroidered flowers and it looks like it's more of like a relaxed fit jean with a high waist. So I will go ahead and list them. It's called the crop. They are in a size six or 28. I don't know that I've ever listed Liverpool jeans. So we'll see how those do. I don't know what this is. Boo Gurness. Um, I'll have to look that one up. It's an interesting piece. It's kind of like metallic, but it's a tunic. It's in a size small. Very interesting. Very kind of like shiny. We shall look it up and learn. This is the brand Workshop. I see this a lot at the thrift store. I don't know where it is sold originally. I don't think it's worth very much. And this sweater... It's, it looks okay. I will see if Plato's wants it, but I don't think that they'll take it now because they're not really looking for wintry pieces. They are definitely transitioning into spring and summer pieces. This is Columbia. It's a size extra large, and it is a, oh, very interesting uh, hooded pullover. Like, look at, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of interesting, so we'll see how that does. I'll probably list it for around 25. This is Under Armour size 2XL. This will probably sell for like 15-ish dollars, but it'll sell pretty quickly. Honestly, this, eh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and list it. Um, this is Zara Basic. This is in a size 10, and they have, oh, like sequined embroidered floral details. They are distressed. I think these will do okay. I feel like the waist is a little bit higher. We'll see how these do. Right, probably list those for like 25-ish. This is Calvin Klein garment wash size extra large. It does have one of those plastic, like clear plastic things around the 
color, so I feel like these are new, but there's no like tag or anything. I don't know that I have a lot of experience selling Calvin Klein button up shirts, but I'm assuming I can just list it for like 25 and see what happens. This is Boss Hugo Boss in a size 17 classic fit. Um, again, if Plato or if the real real will take it, I would much rather they sell it than I. This is Bole Golf. So much golf stuff. This is in a size medium. I've never heard of this brand though, so I'm going to look it up. It is a quarter zip vest, and we'll see if it is worth any more than the other golf stuff that I've gotten. Boston Proper. This is like, I do okay with this brand, and this is an okay piece. It's very intense with its print. It's got like a bold geometric print, but yeah, I do okay with it. I think I can list this for like 25 and we'll see. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the matching belt. I was like another piece in the same exact print. Why? This is Zara base. Oh, Zara man. No, Zara woman. <laughs> it's so faint. Like you can't even look at that tag. It's really hard to make it out, but it is a maybe it's like a cape situation do you see that so it's like a top and it's just got this is where your arms would come out of where my hands are right now and then i don't know it's very interesting every time i get anything zara i'm like please let this be a blogger favorite <laughs> but i'm sure if it even was it's not a current blogger favorite um oh they put like the you know the lint thingies in there or like the whatever you know what i'm talking about this is all that jazz um size medium this is like a great vintage brand but i've never found it for myself so i'm going to do some research it's got some shoulder pads it's like this crushed velvet long sleeve bodycon dress i actually really am digging this um i think that's pretty cool so We'll put that in the I need to research it pile. This is cut for cloth, cut for cloth. Is that what it's called? Diana skinny. Um, like this is like some people really do like this denim brand. I always pass on it at the thrift. So we'll see how it does. It's like skinny jeans. It looks like um, probably list those for 25. This is Eileen Fisher size medium. It is this light gray pullover knit sweater. It's nice. Oh, this has a huge flaw though. Look at that. That is like something died on it. I don't know. I like, I, ooh, I might see if my husband can get it out because maybe it's just like someone stepped on it or something. That That's rough. So we'll see. That'll go on the... Can you please wash this for me? This is the brand Sheragano in a size eight. No idea. It is red. It has faux leather pockets on the front. I mean, it's kind of cute, but I don't know anything about this brand. I bet it's nothing, but I'll go ahead and look it up. And then we've got this very heavily beaded piece by the brand JMC. This is for sure uh vintage i have a piece like this actually for sale oh my gosh look at that so shoulder pads it's a size petite medium 100 percent silk all this super intricate beading and like sequins wow it's actually pretty stunning so here's the back i'm just so scared i'm so scared that i'm gonna mess up the beading it's really pretty, but I'm scared of it. <laughs> so I'm going to look it up. I feel like this is one of those things where maybe it's like worth starting an Etsy account over. I cannot though, because I have too many reselling platforms that I sell on, but that was actually a really beautiful piece. That was three boxes. I have seven more boxes 
Um, I was told that there are some like shoes and stuff. So hopefully we'll see some of those in the next unboxing. But that is everything I got in those three boxes. Let me know what you think. Um, there's a lot to go through. So be on the lookout for a lot more of these videos coming your way. And if you enjoyed this, then definitely hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.